Hello everyone, this is Dante Collector with another action figure review, and here we have the Marvel Legends series Retro Spider-Man Wave uh, Spider Armor Mark 1. So this is the one Spider-Man figure that I've been wanting forever. It's always been like one of my top five uh, wish list items uh, for, um, I need to do another wish list thing for this year, but that's for another video, but yeah. Uh, so this is something that I've been wanting for a while, that's what I've been saying. Um, but yeah, let's go to the packaging for it. So we get the Spider-Man Retro logo right here with the 90 series. You got a billboard picture of the Mark I armor. And then we get that nice look of the Spider-Man figure here. Nothing on top, bottom, or um, sides. And then here is the back. You get the billboard picture here of the Spider-Man Mark I. Here is the Spider-Man logo again. Here it shows how you can switch off the hands. Here's the description of the figure. If you guys want to pause and read that, you can. And then here's all the figures in waves. So we got Hammerhead, uh, Black Seed Spidey, which we already did. We got Hobgoblin, Ben Riley, Spider-Man, and Shocker. Here's a DCPI for whoever wants to grab that. But besides that, uh, let's crack them open. Okay, here is the Spider-Armor Mark 1 figure out of the packaging here. And I already played with it a little bit, and I love it. It's awesome. Uh, there is a few things that I would like them to touch up on or would have done instead. But first, let's go over the accessories. So first, we get this large splatter web effect here. If you're going to web up your enemies, like if you're going to do a stop motion like I am at some point, um, you will use this to kind of web up the enemies. You get a smaller one right here. Uh, these are like soft plastics here uh, with some clear uh, plastic there, transparent with some white paint in there probably. But yeah, looks great. Splatter effects, webbing. And you get the thwipping hands here with some arbor knuckles and the forearm padding. Uh, nice silver there. So, and you get this nice black for the gloves. So it looks great. And then those are the thwipping hands. I wish we got wall crawling hands, but we didn't. So that's a little sad, but oh well. They don't really like to give us wall crawling hands. And then here is Spider Armor Mark One up close. So this this design is kind of based off the PS4 version of it, whereas the uh, animated series uh, looked a little bit more not as modern as this. I feel like, but still, I love it. This I, I cannot complain a whole lot on this figure. It looks awesome. But yeah, here is the helmet up close. So yeah, the helmet looks like it has a little bit of a darker gray here for the eyes. Uh, you get this nice silver there for the helmet. And you get this texturing here in the back of the helmet here. Looks like there's a little bit of silver paint bleeding through there. Instead of this side it isn't, but this side it isn't along the edge. You get this nice texturing here on the neck part. And you get some nice armor cobwebbing there, which is awesome. And you get this spider logo here with the darker gray or black. And you get this like little separation there for the abs there. Also here on the top part. And then it looks very bulky. I love it though. And you get the shoulder armor. Uh, the tricep armor. Uh, and then you get the forearm armor. Here's the fisted hands. You get fisted hands here. You get this nice texturing here along the legs. You get the knee pads. Shin guards. And then the foot. Uh, four foot guards. Whatever you want to call that. And you get that nice texture in there for the foot treads. And then here's the back with the back spider logo there, which looks awesome. You get the separation pieces. You get that belt along there. You get some cab armor there. So yeah, that's what we got for the looks. So he has a double double ball joint in the head, dumbbell. So you only look down that much, not a whole lot. Look up just that much. I wish they kind of did the the slot thing there like they did with the other retro figures you can look left and right some hip hitting there he has um his shoulders can move out that far 360 rotation there he does not have butterfly joints but it's all well he's a bulky figure so it doesn't matter uh he has a bicep swole double jointed elbows one thing i forgot pinless joints here so that's awesome wrist can hinge down that far up that far 360 rotation and he has an ab crunch Close to forward that much, 
backward that much. He has a waist swivel, 360 rotation around there. Legs kick out that far, forward quite a bit, backwards a little bit, thigh cut, double joint knees, also pinless joints. And then ankles can hinge down that far, up that far, nice ankle pivot. So yeah, that's the Spider Armor Mark 1 for you. So I love this figure, like I said. Um, it's one of my favorite Spider-Mans in that animated series, and then one of my favorite suits in the Spider-Man PS4 game for the DLC. So I was happy to see that. And I'm also I was super excited for them to do that. And this is one of the figures I had to get. So yeah. Uh they did a good job on this figure and the de uh details and stuff like that. The only problem that I have is that I wish they went well, I think it would be pretty tough to do the retro figures, so the app crunch of the hips and then the ball joint, but especially with the bulky armor there. So I understand why they didn't do that. But the head, I feel like they could have done something for the head. He doesn't want that. He does not want to look up or down a whole lot. So yeah. And the butterfly joints, it's kind of like whatever, kind of, because then we would have ruined the chest piece there for the armor. So I definitely understand that part. But the neck, the neck movement could have need a little bit of work there but besides that they did a really good job on this figure um like i said uh they had to sacrifice the articulation for the aesthetic look so i cannot blame them on there um uh, but yeah they, they, he did come with a decent amount of accessories we, i wish we got wall crawling hands but like i said articulation is not the best on this figure because of the bulkiness but uh yeah i recommend you get him um because this is the only Hasbro Spider-Man armor that we, uh, Mark 1 armor. I do have one from, like, back, like, when I was, like, five. Um, I do have the spider armor Mark 1 figure from back then, but his, uh, one of his hands fell off. But I do have him in my collection. But, yeah, recommend you get him. He's awesome. But besides that, that's all I got for this figure. If you guys want to check out my, uh, TikTok, Twitch, or Instagram, go ahead and check out my link tree in my description. But besides that, thanks for watching.